Hi there. The following video clip will introduce for us index notation in mathematics. Firstly, what is index notation and why does it arise? Well, although mathematicians can be quite intelligent, they can also tend to be quite lazy. Imagine a mathematician was dealing with the following rather long product when doing some mathematics. 2 multiplied by 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 2. Mathematicians have developed a shorter way of writing this long product or multiplication. And they would ask themselves, well, how many times are we multiplying 2 by itself? 1 time, 2 times, 3 times, 4 times, 5 times, 6 times. And they would say, well, what's the number we're multiplying by itself? Well, it's 2. And how many times are we multiplying it by itself? 6. And they would say 2 to the power of 6. That means 2 multiplied by itself 6 times. OK, let's formalise this definition a bit more. Index notation, therefore, is the notation a, mathem a mathematician uses to write a long product in a quicker way. The example we've got here, 3 multiplied by itself, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. OK, what is the number we're multiplying it by us itself? Well, 3 is, and 3 is called our base number. It's on the bottom. It's our base number. We're multiplying it by itself seven times. So seven is the smaller number that we call the index number. Mathematicians also sometimes call this the exponent. And they would say three to the power of seven. OK, let's write out some index notation. Look at the following five examples. Our base number here is two. We are multiplying two by itself three times. Two times two times two. So a mathematician would simply write that as 2 to the power of 3. Here, 7 multiplied by itself 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. Our base number is 7. How many times are we multiplying it by itself? 6. 7 to the power of 6. We can also use index notation when dealing with algebraic expressions, not just numbers. Our base here is the expression, algebraic expression, p. We are multiplying p, the base, by itself how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4 times. p to the power of 4. Now in the next example, we've actually got two different bases on the go. We've got 3 on the one hand and 7 on the other hand. Now we need to keep our bases separate and only write index notation with one particular base. Our base number in this case is 3. How many times are we multiplying by itself? 1 and 2. 3 to the power of 2. And keeping separately, therefore multiplying, well, what's the other base going on here? It's 7. And we're multiplying that by itself 1, 2, 3 times. So we would simply write this as 3 squared times 7 to the power of 3. Lastly, just to make a, a point clear, 7, or a number on its own, well, if we wanted to write that as index notation, that's actually 7 to the power of 1. That's more mathematical convention. 7 uh, to the power of 1 is equal to the number 7. OK, finally, let's finish with actually evaluating. That means work out the numerical answer to some expressions given to us in index form or index notation. Imagine someone asks us, what's the value of 2 to the power of 3? Well, that must be equal. Our, we are taking the base number 2 and multiplying it by itself 3 times. So we are doing 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. Well, 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. Multiplied by 2 is 8. 3 to the power of 5. Well, our base number is 3 and we're multiplying it by itself 5 times. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. Multiplied by 3 is 27, multiplied by 3 is 81, multiplied by 3 is 243. And the last one, minus 2 is our base to the power of 4. So that means we're multiplying minus 2 by minus 2 by minus 2 by minus 2. Minus 2, the base, is being multiplied by itself 4 times. Be careful with our negatives here. Negative or minus 2 multiplied by negative 2 is 4. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, and 4 times 4 is 16. And there is a brief introduction to simple index notation. Thanks.